Hello, friends, neighbors, and people I have yet to turn into toads. I am Raina, your friendly neighborhood wine drinking, witch of what the f***. Welcome. It's Halloween season, the best season of all, spooky season, and I had this obscene, disgusting idea of taking the most disgusting candy known to man and putting it in resin. That's actually really the only place of it I can think of. Putting it, <laughs> definitely not in my mouth anywhere near, around, or on my mouth either. So yeah, stuff's disgusting. If you like it, you should probably have your head checked. Just a thought, not a doctor, not medical advice. You know, just average idiot on the internet advice. Facebook University, gotta love it. I started with no plan. That's how I start many of the projects in my life with no plan at all and I just wing it and see what happens. There's a reason for a lot of things. I started off with these really cool diamond edge coasters. There is a set of four, each one takes about a cup of resin. So like these are rather large coasters. And I started with mixing a cup, all clear, and I just put a bottom layer on. I didn't really have a layout in mind, so I just dropped the pieces on and then decided, don't like the random, the random looks like garbage. Let's actually give it a pattern. So I started arranging it according to the diamonds on the coaster. So, you know, they are all uniform and pretty looking and I didn't have to count too hard. It's good when I don't have to count, especially when I'm doing art. One thing at a time, you know, it's like Halloween. It's all I can think about is what costume I'm gonna be on what night and what next crazy thing I'm gonna paint and craft shows and making a hundred pairs of earrings in a week, which I totally did and it was awful. The resin takes a while to set, so I had plenty of time to move the kernels around. I am doing so with a toothpick and I am being very naughty and not wearing gloves, but I'm also being very careful to not touch it. Wouldn't advise that I could have easily just stuck my finger on it and been in just a world of hurt. Once I got all the kernels arranged, I then poured the rest of the cup of clear resin over. So it was about, you know, a little less than a quarter cup each on top. Really, it was about a quarter cup in each considering the very bottom layer and then that which I put on top of the disgusting candy. I didn't seal it. I mean, the stuff is not fit for human consumption anyway, so I didn't really think that it was gonna dissolve in plastic. It is plastic. Ah, chemistry. I covered them and let them cure for about 24 hours. You know what else I did? I was a little bored. <laughs> So I took this necklace mold and I took some more of Satan's candy and I put it in there and poured some resin in. <laughs> a little bit of glitter, a couple of opal flakes. You know, it's not exactly uh, haute couture or high fashion or, you know, anything that should even be worn by a human, much less consumed. But I just, I had fun. So I thought I would show you. I forgot to show you a step. I poured clear resin with a little bit of glitter in it. This is some candy corn colored glitter that I picked up in the Halloween baking section of all places at Michael's. So I just mixed that in and then poured it over. And now I'm gonna finish these off by pouring a layer of black. So this is gonna be the bottom and then the black will obviously be the bottom of the bottom and then you'll view it from this side. So that's what we're doing today. All right, I'm dyeing it black with Liquitex acrylic ink. Got four ounces here. I'm just doing one splotch of that. And then I am using this little piggy in Galaxy. Dazzle, some Ultra Sparkle Glitter by Hemway in Black Holographic and the Microfine. If you buy this, make sure you buy the Microfine because it nearly like disappears and it colors the resin. It's kind of awesome. It's not a pigment, but it almost acts like one in a way. So Black Holographic. It comes in a lot of colors. I think I have all of them now. I made the grievous mistake of not measuring how much resin I needed and I was clearly not thinking because I only made four ounces when I definitely needed more than one ounce per coaster to finish these off. So, you know, I poured it and I was like, <sighs> dumb. I didn't plan. And you know the old adage, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. 
Yes, that's it. That's exactly what I was trying to say right there. So <laughs> yeah, we can just take that and go with it, can't we? So fortunately, I had set the other four ounces of resin aside. I was gonna mix that into different colors and then make some jewelry. Thank God I didn't get to that because I had no more time to make anything and my hands were going numb anyway. So I mixed with the same ratios as before and finished it up and poured it in. That was enough, except for that one coaster with the pesky piece of candy that is just like sticking up in the bottom and there was nothing I could do to cover it. This is the rebel in question. Let's shame it all, shall we? Shame, shame on you, coaster. If you've never seen one of my resin videos before, you may wonder what I am spritzing on those coasters. Well, the answer will shock you, or it won't. It's Everclear. Yes, that Everclear, that disgusting shit that we would drink in college and get blackout drunk and then be too embarrassed to talk about and like claim, oh, I, I me, <laughs> me? No, I never drank Everclear. I had taste. Uh-huh, says the girl who was drinking like Franzia White Zin out of a bag, like out of the box bag. Yeah, class. Or like, you know, Boone's Farm with half of it dumped out and replaced with Malibu. Yes, taste. We all had that in college, didn't we? Anyway, you get a little squirt bottle, fill it with Everclear, don't drink it. Well, you can if you want, but we're not gonna talk about that today. And you spritz it on. It cleans and it pops bubbles, but if you breathe too deep, you will feel very drunk very quickly. It's aerosol, alcohol, you know, not a great thing. You are getting very sleepy. You are very entertained. You will like this video and subscribe to my channel. You will share this with your friends because you know that I am safer to share than either candy corn or Everclear. So these ended up pretty trippy. I think they're pretty cool, but they do kind of mess with your depth perception a little bit. So I've got like this filter on the camera, so I look a little green like the Wicked Witch. Um, so that's why you're like, why is the color look like that? But I'm just trying to show you what it looks like, like the diffraction or the refraction. You know, it's a little psychedelic. Here you can see like the diamond edges. These coaster molds are actually pretty great and I made some other pretty cool stuff with them. Quick story time. So I had this big craft fair this last weekend. It was two days, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. And I literally ran myself ragged for about three weeks making hundreds of pieces for this. I made like a hundred pairs of earrings and like 50 necklaces and a bunch of sets of coasters, including these ones and some like other really cool ones. I was pretty excited about it. And the first thing I do when I walk in the door into this art fair is I see a Norwex booth. And like, this is an art fair? <laughs> Me hauling my paint pouring and all my stuff I've made out of resin and the, my prints from the stuff I do in Procreate. And then I get to my booth and what's it next to? Taxidermy. So the woman next to me is making earrings and lamps and all sorts of shit out of deer antlers and like foxtails and all that sort of thing. I felt really out of place. And uh, it makes sense to me that people would like come by and they pick these up and they touch them and they ooh, ah, ooh, ah, and be all like, these are amazing, come look. And then like Nancy and Karen would come look and they'd be like, ooh and ah, and ooh and ah. But do you think I sold a single one? I did not. 20 bucks. I think that's pretty reasonable considering it's eight, nine ounces of resin and resin is at least a dollar an ounce. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be like fruitcake and other families where it's passed down from generation to generation. Everybody's like, oh God, it's scary Aunt Raina's coasters. I don't even have kids to pass these on to and terrorize with, so I'm just gonna have to find somebody else's kids. And yeah, this'll, you know, I wonder what this'll look like in 300 years probably exactly the same. Happy Halloween.